Hello and welcome to the video. Today we will focus on finding the best flat iron for your natural or relaxed hair and discovering what temperature you should use. Flat irons, blow dryers, curling irons, and numerous other heated styling tools can be a great addition to a regimen if used sparingly and correctly. Remember that heat is not the enemy. Lack of knowledge is. So what is the correct temperature for using these different styling tools on relaxed or natural hair while avoiding heat damage? Let me start by saying that there is no hard or fast rule in regards to temperature. It completely depends on the thickness and texture of your hair. If your hair is relaxed, texturized, or text lax, then regardless of individual differences in texture, one rule is to never use very high heat. If you are natural, then a good flat iron technique in conjunction with a heat protectant will give you super silky results with a single pass. If a styling tool does not have temperature controls, then do not use it. The temperature is unknown and the risk of heat damage will be too high. Sorry to be non-specific, but the best temperature to use on your hair is the lowest one at which you get the desired results. I may be able to get super straight hair in a single pass at 290 degrees Fahrenheit while someone else will have to crank it up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit to get the same results. Find your own personal perfect temperature and stick with it. Remember that the fewer the passes, the less the potential for heat damage. Flat irons and curling wands. With flat irons, if your hair is relaxed, then a low to mid-range temperature is the best. This is anywhere from 280 degrees Fahrenheit to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. For natural hair, you will find that you require a little bit more heat to get smooth, straight hair. This should be in the range of 300 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Higher temperatures up to 450 degrees should only be used if you don't care about heat damage. Many curling wands may not have a temperature setting. They will just have a temperature range instead. A good way to test the heat would be to start with a small section of your hair in an inconspicuous area. Choose a middle setting and work your way up if you don't get tight enough curls or down if you feel that it's too hot. Remember the best temperature is the lowest one at which you are able to get the desired results. Blow dryers. You may already know that ionic hair dryers are the best. A quick explanation is that they essentially restructure the ion clusters in your hair, bathing it in negative ions that improve moisture retention in the strands. Most hair dryers will have three settings, high, low, and medium, along with three or more speed settings. If your hair is chemically treated, you can crank up the speed setting to either medium or the highest, but use the low heat setting only. Because blow dryers are essentially dry heat, you want to minimize your hair's exposure to them. If you are natural, then a medium to high speed setting on medium heat would suffice. Technique is everything when it comes to blow drying natural hair to get maximum elongation. Try using the tension blow dry method. To do this, gently pull the section of your hair taut to stretch it out while running the hot air over the section. You will be amazed at how easy it is to get the kinkiest, curliest hair straight using this method rather than the usual brush while drying technique. Even with that said, if you find it easier and get better results using a brush and blow dryer, then of course you should use that method. The idea is to get good results with as little heat on your hair as possible. So choose what works for you. Hooded dryers. Most bonnet or hooded dryers will have three heat settings on them. The best strategy to employ whether you are natural or relaxed will be to use the medium to high heat for three fourths of your drying time. And for the last 15 minutes or so, Reduce the heat to low. High heat opens the cuticles, but cool air makes the cuticles contract and close. Closed cuticles give your hair a shiny finish. Hooded dryers are unlikely to cause heat damage, so opt for this method of drying your hair over blow drying if possible. With these tips, you can see that heat itself is not the enemy and does not have to be a detriment to your hair's health. With practice, you should be able to get smooth, silky hair every time and never have to utter the words heat damage ever. If you are enjoying this video, then please give us a like and a sub to the channel would be amazing too. Now back to the video. Now that we have shed some light on temperature settings, let's look at what you need to look for in a hair straightener. Buying a good straightener for your hair type can be more complicated than it looks. 
with all the new kinds of flat irons ranging from the dirt cheap to the ridiculously expensive, which one should you buy? Choosing a flat iron is not a decision that should be taken lightly. A cheap iron may work just as well as an expensive one in straightening the hair, but they may do unseen and irreparable damage to your hair in the long term. Flat irons have a variety of features on them, and it is just the question of choosing one with the most important features necessary for both getting the smooth results you want as well as keeping your hair healthy. Here are some good features to look out for in flat irons along with their benefits. Number one, ceramic. These plates allow for even heat distribution, which means that the chances of one being overheated are low. This ultimately means that it has less potential to burn or damage your hair. The heating element also creates negative ions that seal in the moisture into the hair. Ceramic is the most basic material that you want your flat iron to be comprised of, and it is arguably the most commonly used. I would suggest that you find a flat iron that is pure ceramic. Some tools that are marketed as ceramics simply have a ceramic coating. This does not just apply to the less expensive consumer models, but also some high-end professional flat irons as well. The ceramic coating can potentially chip and peel, exposing some metal below, usually aluminum, and may damage your hair. Irons that are pure ceramic plates usually include that information in the description. These are more delicate, so you have to be careful not to slam the plates together, but overall, are an excellent choice. Number two, tourmaline. What exactly is tourmaline? It is a crushed, brittle, gray or black mineral that occurs as a prismatic crystal in granite and other rocks. It also happens to be nature's largest provider of negative ions. In hot tools, these crystals are crushed into a fine powder and infused into the flat iron's metal plate. Hence, it produces up to six times more negative ions than ceramic plates alone. This gives the hair a shinier, silkier finish with less heat. Number three, titanium. This is a metal that has excellent heat conduction. Consistent heat allows for minimum temperature variation, which minimizes heat damage. It heats very quickly, and it also has high ionic output, which transfers heat faster than ceramic. This is arguably the best type of flat iron to have, at least until they come out with something better. Number four, ionic. The term ionic means that the flat iron generates negative ions. A tool that provides negative ions while styling results in smoother, shinier, frizz-free hair. This applies not only to flat irons, but also blow dryers and hooded dryers. The important thing to remember is that ionic does not refer to a specific material. All ceramic flat irons generate negative ions, while tourmaline and titanium boost their output. Number five, steam. Similar to using a steam iron on your clothes to get rid of wrinkles, steam straighteners have steam vents that straighten your hair more effectively while releasing steam to prevent your hair from over drying during the straightening process. This is not the most important feature to have in a flat iron, but you may find it useful if you find that your hair is dry and brittle after it has been straightened. Number six, temperature control. This is one of the most important things to look out for when purchasing a flat iron. Different hair textures can cope with different levels of direct heat. Black hair, whether natural or relaxed, and regardless of how coarse or tough looking it is, it is the most fragile of all. Intense heat will give smooth results, but it is very likely to cause heat damage, hence compromising the curl pattern and health of your hair. If your hair is freshly deep conditioned and a heat protectant are applied beforehand, you will be surprised at how little heat you need to get perfect results. Number seven. Long swivel cord. This is necessary as you will need to move the iron in different directions to straighten different parts of your head. It stops the cord from tangling as you straighten. Number eight, size. The truth is, with enough practice, a slim flat iron will get your hair as smooth as a large one. Still, with a large iron, you can straighten larger sections of your hair than the slim one, but this shouldn't be the determining factor in choosing a flat iron. Number nine, Curve smooth edges. This is a great feature for creating curls and flicks, hence negating the need for a curling wand or a curling iron afterwards. Number 10, comb attachment. The comb chase method is the best way to get silky hair in a single pass. If you don't know what it is, here's a quick explanation. You take a small section of hair and run a fine tooth comb or brush down the section using one hand while chasing it with a flat iron held in the other hand. 
This requires an ambidextrous feat that many of us may not be able to achieve. So an option is to find a flat iron that comes with a comb attachment or one that has a comb already embedded into the plates. This makes one pass styling more achievable for most of us. As with anything else, price will be a fairly good indicator on the quality of the flat iron. Be prepared to invest a reasonable amount of money, although you may be able to pick up a good quality off-brand flat iron for half the cost of a branded one. That's it. Thanks for watching. Do let us know in the comments what flat iron you use and why you love it. All the best in your hair journey.